Hello there, it's Brian here with the North American Guitar at Winter Nam 2020. It's day three and we're here with Peter at the Henriksen booth. How have you found the show? It's been great. Uh, really well attended this year. Some really you know, quality players running around. There's some fun new stuff that I've seen. Uh, you know, in addition to our fun stuff, we get to walk around and see some things that uh, you know, other people bring in and it's been a fun show. I mean, you've got a great spot and you've really made it feel like such a home you're saying it's become yeah. quite a jazz hub yeah so we wanted to create kind of a jazz guitar lounge here at NAMM there hasn't been one for a long time and so uh, you know we try to bring up the level of, of music there's a lot of uh, uh, deedly deedly shredder kind of stuff going on in the background uh, so we just try to make it comfortable people come in sit down on the couch jam on the guitars you know so yeah man it's got a great feel to it and Loads of new stuff. Well, some really exciting stuff in a very streamlined, yeah. streamlined lineup now. Yeah. So last year we made a couple of uh, uh, architectural changes to the design of the amplifier and uh, changed the names of everything. So what we've got for this year, brand new, is uh, the head version of the Bud. So um, you know our our famous Bud amplifier. Uh, a lot of people asked us for something that was more akin to a pedal board amp where they didn't, uh, you know, they don't necessarily need the speaker and they can travel with it. So it's got, it's got the same two channel uh, preamp as the Bud, it's identical, it's got the Bluetooth aux in and everything. And then uh, the line out so you can uh, get your sound, take your sound anywhere, goes out to the soundboard and the speaker out you can either hook it up to like a wedge just so you can hear yourself or any you know any cabinet it has the same 120 watt power amplifier that the bud has in it so it's a really critical piece of gear if you if you travel a lot you know if you uh, if, i forget the weight i think it's five pounds um, so. it amazes me how much versatility there is in the bud like yeah I, we've we've done all sorts with it obviously they're great for the jazz thing yeah beautiful for acoustic guitars that clarity and yeah, the yeah. definition is just great yeah. you can really dial it in but you turn off the tweeter on the combo yeah. it's a killer electric amp yeah absolutely <laughs> yep. well that's why we made the tweeter defeatable because some people like you want that sparkle and then other times you, you, like with a distortion effect it really gets kind of ugly you know um. So you got the same thing with the Forte as well. Yeah, so we have a Forte head too. Um, a lot of people who, like what we were going for with the Forte is a little more the crossover rock and roll fusion kind of stuff and tube amp. And so um, a lot of people already have speaker cabinets that they like. It makes it easier to like, you know, change the voice of your guitar by changing out speakers if you've got a head and a cabinet. It also travels pretty well. So. It's a killer looking piece of kit. Thanks. As well as that, so somehow you've made the Bud 6 even lighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, we redu I, when we re introduced the Bud, people couldn't believe how much sound was coming out of it. Uh, and then we changed the architecture to a much more efficient power amplifier. Actually made it a little bit louder and cleaner and consequently five pounds lighter because we were able to lose the heat sink and the transformer. And so it went from a little over, it went about 18 pounds down to about 13 pounds. And so it's just so ridiculously portable. You can, uh, if you fly, it'll fit underneath the seat in front of you on an airplane. So you can uh, like throw the telecaster on your back, take the amp with you, short, you know, one nighter trips or whatever. And uh, you can also, ch we check them as bags. You want to reinforce the bag a little bit, but it's they survive. They're they're tough. They're light. They're well, those things are great, and it's so light. You put that on a shoulder strap, and you can just take that anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Like it's absolutely wicked. Yeah. And we've also just taken delivery of some of our first Bud Tens. Yeah. So another thing we introduced last year that uh, was a long time coming was the Bud, but in a 10-inch cabinet, and it makes it a little more versatile for bass guitar. Uh, people doing a lot of walking bass line, finger style kind of stuff where you just want that thump. And seven string players, you know, uh, you really want that bottom end where the six and a half inch speaker is great on the bud, but you know, the, as a matter of physics, sometimes you need a beefier cabinet. So we used to have a 10 inch jazz amp and we decided we would take the opportunity to modify that cabinet to make it a little bit deeper, make it sealed, really make the, you know, the port uh, you know, work with the speaker. So uh, that's the 10. 
it's just a great addition to the lineup. And then lastly, the Forte in all its glory is just yeah, a fantastic way to, to top it all off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Forte was years in the making. We decided uh, we didn't want to build an all tube amp. That's really not what we do. But there's a certain sound that you just can't get without that vacuum tube compression and reaction and interaction. So uh, we started with our EQ. We integrated a, a preamp tube right into you know uh, right into the amplifier and uh, put it into our power amp. So you get the you know the super loud volume, uh, open back design, so a more traditional kind of tone, and uh, that's uh, the forte. And it's uh, it's really versatile. It's a little bit of a learning curve because there's two EQs. There's our five band EQ and then the bass and treble part of the tube section. Uh, so some people spend the bud's very pl plug and play. Yep. The forte is a little bit, you gotta massage it a little bit because it is so versatile. And uh, what we hear back from our professional players is that it's now their only amp. It's a little bit bigger and it's less portable, but it not only does it do everything that our, our other amps do, but it and more. Uh, it's an incredible piece of gear. I mean, we've had a fantastic reception with the Forte. Oh, good, good. And as always, you know, the 6 is a classic. The 10's just been a great addition to that. It's just a wonderful set, and we're using them all the time in the showroom, and we just love love everything that you got going on with them. But it was great to catch up. I'm glad it's all going so well. It's really, yeah, a wonderful space to be in. And, yeah, I'm hoping you're having a great show. I it's am. Been well, thank you guys for all that you nuts. do. And, uh, Order more stuff from uh, the North American Guitar. Wonderful guys, thank you so much. Speaking of which, for any more information on the finest Luthierville instruments and Henriksen amps, please don't hesitate to get in touch, subscribe to this channel, uh, and we've got all of our NAM footage coming out.